Hey, what's up, Mavs fans? Kevin Gray, Mavericks pre and post game host on 97 1 The Freak on the Dallas Mavericks Radio Network. We have some breaking news when it comes to as he is dealing with a right ankle sprain that will have him out against the New York Knicks on Thursday. You can find me on Twitter at Kevin Gray Sports. Be sure to download Inside the Mavs wherever you get your podcast for free, the official Mavericks podcast. I'm 97.1 The Freak. You can also subscribe to my channel here at Kevin Gray Sports. Make sure you hit the like button on this video if you like it and tell other people to join in on Inside the Mavs. Only Luka Doncic will not be joining the Mavs himself on Thursday. And who knows how long after we found out on Wednesday that Luka Doncic has a right ankle sprain that will keep him out of Thursday night's game against the New York Knicks and unsure right now of a timetable for his return. He was already dealing with right ankle swelling over the last couple of games that we've seen pop up on the injury report, in addition to the quad injury that he's been dealing with all season. Team and the Mavericks, who are trying to get healthy and stay healthy consistently during the second half of the year, a team that's 22 and 16 in the midst of a seven game homestand, their longest of the season. It just seems that the injury bug continues to plague this team. Dante Exum is already out right now with a right plan with a plantar fascia injury. Derek Lively is also out with a left ankle sprain. So this team who has seen Grant Williams deal with an ankle sprain, Derek Lively with two separate ankle sprains, Dante Exum with the plantar fascia. Actually, Kleva is down right toe dislocation as he has been upgraded to doubtful for the first time since November 8th when the last time he, he played. So for a team that's trying to gain some rhythm and consistency moving forward as far as their lineups are concerned, this is a big blow to the Mavericks as they move forward here. And with Kyrie Irving just having returned from his own heel contusion, when will this team be able to find the chemistry consistently that will allow them to develop the kind of continuity moving forward? Because right now, it doesn't seem like that has been able to be the case so far, even with them being six games above 500 at 22 and 16. By the way, that's the same mark that they had through 38 games a season ago, and we know how things ended there. Don't necessarily think that will obviously happen this year. But it is cause for concern as these lingering issues continue to bother Luka Doncic. Now with a right ankle sprain on top of a quad injury where he's carrying the load significantly every single night, playing over 38 minutes a night, and we know that his usage rate is always going to be high with being one of the five best players in the league with all the things that the Mavericks ask him to do on a night-to-night -night basis. That just means Kyrie Irving will have to shoulder a much larger load now for the foreseeable future. Again, no timetable yet on when Luka Doncic will return as we're finding out that he has that right ankle sprain. But as we've seen with Derek Lively, as we've seen with Grant Williams, Grant Williams was fortunately only able to miss a couple of games because of the ankle sprain that he had. Derek Lively was able to return after missing four or five games himself before spraining the ankle again. Hopefully, this is not a long-term injury for Luka Doncic and something that he can come back from relatively quick rest. Go forward here. The Mavericks, as they finish up their seven-game homestand, have the Knicks, and then they welcome in the New Orleans Pelicans for the final two games of their homestand before they take on the likes of the Warriors and the Lakers and the Celtics, among other teams, as the schedule gets more difficult. Moving forward to try and ensure that they are staying afloat in a top six position in the West and not get too far behind because we know in a deep Western Conference this year, a three or four game losing streak could have you going from three or four to seven or eight in a heartbeat. That is how interesting the conference is right now and more importantly, how much Luka Doncic means to this team and what they're trying to accomplish because if they find themselves after really being able to find some rhythm, especially defensively over the last couple of weeks, as I mentioned, you've seen Luka Doncic and Kyrie Irving in tandem together really put together some beautiful offensive music. This is not a good sign for the Mavericks as they continue to try and deal with this. Again, hopefully the concern is alleviated by him being able to get some rest and not being able to have to be out for a long period of time. But if he is, the likes of Kyrie Irving alongside Derrick Jones Jr., hopefully when Dante Exum returns, guys like Tim Hardaway Jr. and others are going to have to step up in his absence. And hopefully when Derek Lively comes back, 
they'll be able to have some of that rim protection and rebounding that they've been missing. But Luka Doncic is the proverbial straw that stirs the drink, and right now there will not be a drink stirred at any moment, at least on Thursday, and again, figuring out when he is able to return as quickly as possible. And if you're the Mavericks, the approach that you've taken so far this year, whether it be with Kyrie Irving, Derek Lively II, Grant Williams to a degree, you should not rush Luka Doncic back until he is as close to 100% as possible. And that's the ultimate conversation here that we're going to have, is that the Mavericks' approach to what we do with Luka Doncic is ultra important, not just to his future for this immediate portion of the season, but going for the rest of the year and into the playoffs. Don't allow him to come back until he is to 100%, if not 100%, as possible dealing with that ankle sprain and once he's ready to go then that's when he gets back on the floor because i would rather the mavericks suffer the blow now and deal with it in the interim versus this continuing to linger on for the rest of the year and that by the time you get to the postseason he is still dealing with an ankle injury that if he re-aggravates it could see him missing significant time when it matters most this is the time right now to be able to get him the rest that he needs and you sit him until he's ready to go I know he is an ultra competitive player and he loves to compete and play every single night. And I'm sure it's killing him not to be able to be on the floor with his teammates, as we've seen demonstrated throughout the course of his career. A guy that loves the game, has a joy for the game and loves to play basketball every single night and willing to play through injury no matter what. This may be a blessing in disguise for the Mavericks for them to be able to sit him for a little while, allow him to rest both the ankle and the quad so that by the time he is ready to get back on the floor, he can provide the kind of stuff custom seeing from him every single night. But short of that, Luka Doncic needs to sit and to relax and be able to get himself as healthy as possible. You don't want to lose ground, obviously, in the West. You don't want to find yourself having a lack of rhythm offensively. But if it means being able to have him when it matters most, this is the price you may have to pay for a little while until Luka Doncic is healthy. Because as I mentioned, one of the five best players in this league, he is an MVP candidate and integral to the part of this team. And without him, they're virtually a lottery team. And that's no shade and no disrespect to the guys that are on this team. That is just how much Luka Doncic means to this team. When he is on the floor, especially with Kyrie Irving together healthy, they have a chance to be anybody in the NBA. Just see what happened just the other day when they beat the Minnesota Timberwolves. Without Luka Doncic, this team is not very good, and you and I know it just by watching the evidence of how this team has gone about their business without Luka Doncic on the floor for stretches of time. It's not good. So again, sit him until he's healthy and he's ready to go. Once he's ready to go, put him on the floor. But in the meantime, Kyrie Irving, Jaden Hardy, Josh, Josh Green, Grant Williams, Tim Hardaway Jr., all of these other guys are going to have to step up and provide the kind of scoring punch to be able to somehow substitute for Luka Doncic being missing. Again, unsure of his timetable of his return right now, but ankle sprains are nothing to deal with, not knowing the severity as far as it being a high ankle sprain or whatever the case may be, and it may simply just be him having to rest. But rest he must do for this team to ultimately get to where they want to go. And that's hopefully the second round of the Western conference playoffs with especially both Luca and Kyrie healthy together. Once Derek lively comes back as well. And they find a way to develop the chemistry and continuity on a consistent basis needed to be able to move forward in the West, but we'll see, but that is the news. Luca Doncic right ankle sprain out against the Knicks. No time to, of his return at this particular point as the Mavericks try to move forward and ensure that they are getting another win, stack another win or two during this homestand because it will be difficult with the Knicks and the Pelicans in these final three games of this homestand. They will need to find a way to get a win even without the services of Luka Doncic. It's going to be tough, obviously, but the Mavericks are tasked with that right now to try and figure it out. Again, you can find me on Twitter at Kevin Gray Sports. Be sure to download and subscribe to the Inside the Mavericks podcast wherever you get your podcast for free. Give it a five-star rating and write a review. Also, check out 
inside the mass on twitter anytime and download and subscribe to the podcast and of course subscribe to kevin gray sports here on youtube and like this video like this video and share it with everyone else who's a Mavs fan my name is kevin gray Mavs pre and post game host on 97 one the freak on the dallas mavericks radio network i'll talk to you later peace